of my overheated little cactus fruits, aka prickly pears. This is Rob from A Gay Guy Plays, and today we are back with another installment of the Weekly Night Wave, the series where we take a look at this week's acts and find the most entertaining or most efficient way to take them on. We also discuss the Warframe of the Week, which is not Neja. I understand that that might be a little point of confusion. However, there are a lot of things coming to an end this week that I think we need to do a little bit of housekeeping on. So we're actually going to start from the back end of the week, which ends July 6th. This is actually the Equinox Prime Access. So as many of you guys already know, we're getting a new Prime Access this coming TennoCon. And if you are all curious as to who that might be, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the top corner if you want spoilers. If you don't want spoilers, avoid the internet because it's all out there. But as you guys know, whenever a Prime Access is vaulted, all of its Prime accessories go along with it. Now, Admittedly, the um, Equinox Prime accessories were not necessarily my favorites, but you might like them. So as you can see right here, we have the Izabo Prime Cyandana, as well as the Narvar armor set, which is all a little bit floppy, but who knows? Maybe you guys are into floppy. Now, moving along down the week, we also have Nightwave, which is actually going to be closing July 5th. So Friday is going to be the last day that you guys will be able to take on this Nightwave and get your hands on the um, Eidolon Ephemera. Let's go ahead and put that on real quick just in case you guys are curious as to how that looks. So um, if you want to get your hands on the little smoky steps, as you can see right here, if my cat didn't walk all over it, um, you're going to need to get on it ASAP. And we'll discuss that uh, as we jump into all of the Nightwave stuff. But the last thing that I do want to make you guys very, very aware of is the fact that the vault for Volt Prime and Loki Prime is also closing on the 2nd. So that means I believe this upcoming Tuesday? Tuesday is when it's all coming to an end. So, again, when it comes to the schedule this week, on Tuesday, we have the Prime Vault closing with Loki and Volt in it. And then on the 5th, we have the last day for this week's Night Wave. And then on the 6th, not only do we have TennoCon, but we have a new Prime Access that is going to be revealed, while Equinox Prime Access is going to be vaulted. So, not vaulted. The Equinox Prime Access is coming to a close, and Hydroid Prime, Ballistica Prime, and um, Nami Skyla Prime are all going to be vaulted. So, if you guys got a Relic Hunt, definitely get on that ASAP. And I think that brings all of the date stuff to a close. So let's jump into uh, actual Nightwave. <laughs> and by the way, pardon my hair, I am fresh out of the shower, so I'm still a little bit damp. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at what this week holds for us. As you can see, we do have a daily called Mow Them Down, which is kill 150 enemies with a primary weapon. Easy peasy. You'll be able to do that um, without even thinking about it. Then we have a Reactor. Uh, kill 150 enemies with radiation damage. Maybe it's time to explore some radiation weapons. What do you think? Uh, moving along, we have Earth Miner. Mine six rare gems or ore in the Plains of Eidolon. Um, we have Invader. Complete nine invasion missions of any type. We have Sanctuary Researcher, complete five scans for Cephalon Samaris. Um, we have Sortie Specialist, complete one Sortie. Very, very, I, I like it when it's just complete one of something. You don't have to worry about it beyond that. We have Unlock Three Relics. Um, I like I like the fact that they went really basic with that. They're just like, Unlock Relics. You know, they don't have anything fancy like Sortie Specialist or a Reactor. It's just, Unlock Some Relics. <laughs> uh, we have Ascendant Complete, four Halls of Ascension on Lua, and then we have Hold Your Breath as the Elite Weekly, which goes along with Ascendant, um, which is survived for over 30 minutes in Kuva Survival. So as you could probably tell, these first two, Mow Them Down and Reactor, are going to be easy peasy with Hold Your Breath, or... Um, or even the invader complete nine invasion missions of any type, which I think is a little bit hefty for uh, for just a standard weekly uh, thing. Nine invasions? That's kind of a lot. But, you know, that's just me speaking right there. Um, in addition to that, uh, we have the complete four halls of ascension in Lua. Now, uh... Honestly, for me, I'm glad that I don't have to touch any of these because that is definitely a pain in the butt. However, I'm gonna be real with you. In, if I just jump into a public mission in Lua, and this is live, just go into like a capture or an exterminate, and most of the time, people will kind of already be doing it. Uh, people will be looking for it, people will want to take it on, and that's kind of the cool thing with Nightwave is like, if you don't know how to do something, you can kind of jump into that like map 
and you can like, you know, ask them questions, watch how they do it, um, instead of having to go to like YouTube and research all that stuff, which to be honest with you, I'm a YouTuber, so you know, go watch those if you need to watch them. But if you'd rather have like a hands-on experience, you can always just jump into the mission and find out for yourself. Now, unlock relics. I highly suggest when you do these unlock relic missions, take a look for anything in the void because like I was saying earlier, uh, the vault is going to be closing on Tuesday. So I highly suggest if you can unlock relics and get yourself some relics at the same goddamn time, get it done, please. That would be absolutely amazing. I'm kind of pushing everybody to multitask outside of the night waves as well because you can get a lot of things done doing all of that. Um, so that's pretty much all of the overlap that you have. Uh, but make sure that what you do today is go into Sanctuary Researcher so that you can get um, these scans for Cephalon Samaria. ASAP because of the fact that I think it depends on what kind of enemy type he's gonna give you as to how many scans you're gonna end up getting um, now usually they range from like two to like three so it might take a couple days to actually get this one done and listen if you have it active and you don't really want to think about it you can kind of just do everything else and passively scan for those cephalot samaris ones and who knows maybe you're in a mission somebody else will scan it for you and then boom you'll be nice and done now let's go ahead and jump into the warframe of the week which as you could probably see is baruch and i'm gonna be honest with you one of the things that I really, really want to put out there is I have not used Baruch in a long time. And in fact, somebody in um, my, what do you call this, in my stream chat had said that on certain consoles, nobody uses Baruch. Nobody even touches Baruch. And to be honest with you, I hadn't played with him for a while, but as many of you guys know, interception is one of my favorite ways to number one, unlock relics, uh, and number two, gain relics for farming. So this week, I really challenge you guys, if you have not uh, played around with Baruch, go ahead and jump on the Baruch train. I'm gonna go ahead and leave my color customizations for this specific setup uh, down in the description box below. I'll even go ahead and toss you my current build. Now, again, this is just my current build. Like I was saying, I hadn't touched him in quite a while. Uh, so you, listen, this is this is primed for, uh, uh, for uh, alteration, but so far I've been having really, really good luck with this and I quite like the way that this works. Um, as you guys can see, I do have two energizers and a flow in there. Uh, also a streamline, mainly because of the fact that Baruch gets a lot of his survivability from his abilities and also because of that sir because of the fact that that survivability feeds into his ultimates um you're kind of got to keep his abilities up if you know what i mean um, but one of the reasons why I really wanted to put the spotlight on him is because I've had a ton of fun well let's go use his ultimate real quick um cuz I've had a whole lot of fun using oh I have a gladiator's might in there was I trying something special I might have been trying something special. I don't know. Uh, regardless, what I was saying was I've been using him a lot for interception. And you guys know I love me some interception. So when I was kind of like sitting there, you know, and I was like, let me put down a lull. So I put down a lull real quick, went and ran around, go went to see if there was anything else that I needed to take down. All of my like long wave range hits um, were really, really good for taking out enemies that were trying to cap from far away. Also remember all of his block combos will actually suck enemies into it. Um, so I highly suggest you use that as like some CC, which is really, really fun. And then of course, if you're playing around with allies, you can go ahead and spam a whole bunch of your disarms at the same time. So all in all, I think he's pretty fucking good, and he's really, really good when it comes to um, resing people, too, because, as you guys know, I like to do public missions, and in public missions, lots of people tend to die, or my Kavat tends to die when I forget to swap over his survivability mods. That's a thing that happens live on stream as well for everybody to see. But because of the fact that he can literally just stand there and enemies can shoot at him, and he can end up building up his meter, um, then I really, really like it. Elude was just one of those things where I was like, Oh, so uh, my cat's dead. I can revive him and just stand here while all of these enemies shoot at me and I get to like rank up Serene Storm. Hell fucking yes! I am so into that. So all in all, I'm having a lot of fun with him when it comes to um, interceptions and interceptions, like I had stated before, is a really, really great way to get relics. The relic table or the loot table is very, very condensed for the Axie ones. Um, so you don't really get too many... Uh, 
like like crap mods or like endo or any bullshit like that it's really basically all relics and because of the fact that the uh vaulted relics can only be found in the void that is where i would direct you to i play a whole lot of mithra Whew, that was me going on for quite a while so that about does it for my warframe of the week and the weekly night wave remember get it done before friday so you can get your hands on that idol on ephemera i believe in you you can make it happen also keep in mind that there are going to be other dailies that pop up so if you think you're like close and you're not quite there yet don't worry there will be a couple more dailies to come and if you haven't completed everything Remember, we also have that retroactive thing where if you clear out all of the weekly stuff, you'll be able to get all the past ones that you missed too. So never fear. The retroactive, you know, dailies are here. <laughs> I don't know if it's just dailies or if it's just weeklies. Listen, somebody in the comments, if your dailies have popped, I don't think my dailies have popped up when I've completed things. So maybe it's just the weekly ones. So if you miss some old weekly ones, don't worry. They should be back. The daily ones, however, you might have missed those permanently. Regardless, that about does it for me for now, my little prickly pears. Stay cool out there. So as always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch your body. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.